top of the morning, top of the morning. Don't mind the glasses. I got my Steve Urkels on. I ain't turning to Stefan yet, so uh, don't mind me. You hear me. But yeah, <clears throat> sitting here, man, you know, vibing to my girl Keisha Cole. Shout out to Keisha Cole. You know, that's a, that's a dear little sweetheart right there. No bullshit. When Keisha came out slim, Keisha was the goddamn truth. I had I had a big crush on Keisha, but the messed up thing about it, Slim, I got I got bagged, I got locked up, right? No bullshit, I got locked up. Had to go sit down, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm talking about Slim, cause you know when Keisha came out, she came out, you know what I'm saying? Why a nigga was was starting this bed? So you know everybody, I don't know when you locked up. You just like got your little girl that you just like you say that's your girl. You know what I'm saying? So boom, I'm trying to tell you like prisoners, prisoner had you tripping. So no bull, I just like really started thinking she was my girl. Like not no super stalker weird shit, but like I was just blown when Jeezy bagged the jump. But then I was like, hey, Jeezy got the bag and I'm locked. So go ahead, do you, Keish? I ain't man, fuck it. You came up, you got your bag, but yeah. So then, boom, that ain't work out. So I was like, okay, she waiting on the nigga. You hear me? But I was like, I still got some time. Then she ran into that other battle. Once she hit the NBA, I was like, I don't ball now. See, I could have came home and, you know, <laughs> bust a little move. But, you know what I'm saying, the ball that I was lost, I was like, damn, that's dead. You hear me? So, boom, I was just thinking about how wild we be. For women. You know what I'm saying? For the simple fact, like... Everything... Is a reality check. You know what I'm saying? And I always say, if you just go back and just think. If you look at life and the Bible. The Bible. The Bible. The Bible is spelled B-I-B-L-E. Okay, Wink, what's your point? Okay. Do you know what that means? Bible. No, 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 no. Do you know what each letter means? Basic instructions before leaving earth. You dig what I'm talking about? What are you talking about, Wink? Think about it like this. You ever been on an airplane before? You know that speech that they give you right before they about to take off? And the jump, even though they got to do their job, I'm like home for real, for real, because it was my first time flying. I'm like, Charlie. I already just like worked up the courage to get on this jam, right? And then y'all gonna go through a slow process of telling me in case of emergency, right? The shit that I need to do for myself. Like, it's not a team that come out here and support me and do this stuff for nothing. You did? And then one thing that really threw me the fuck off. No bullshit. What really threw me the fuck off was the part where they said if you... If you sitting by the window, if you sit by the emergency door, you are responsible. <laughs> I said, hold up, time be fuck out. I had to look at the, I had to find the emergency door because I needed to know who was sitting at them because we needed, we needed responsible people at the emergency doors. That was my thing first and foremost, right? And I needed to make sure the emergency door was nowhere near me because I take a lot of risks, right? And I would try a lot of things, but this that was just one thing. I'm like, this is my first flight. I ain't fooling with it. I ain't messing with it. Nope. I ain't even gonna mess with it. So, boom. We got that all squared away, right? But I say all that, right? Basic instructions, because you gotta pay attention to the basic instructions. Where you going with this, Wink? Well, the basic instructions, when I just got to thinking about not calling Keisha Cole a fiery woman, not at all, because she's, she's a sweetheart. I love Keisha Cole, man. Keisha Cole was, I gen well, I'm I'm part of both generations. What the fuck I'm about to say? Um, Keisha Cole is a younger Murray J. Blige in my eyes. You dig what I'm saying? Like, she can't she can't grow old. She can't grow old like her music. Like she came out, she she gave you the Murray. You know what I'm saying? On a on a younger vibe and chip. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. Like that was my opinion. Of, I was like, she little Murray. Like that's that's little baby Murray. Kill you hear me? So boom. Just saying, in the Bible, right, 
it say a man and woman is supposed to, you know what I'm saying, part away from their parents and come together, right? But he said, beware of fiery women. Fiery women. So I had to think. Oh, talking about Jai Fast Jones, you know what I'm saying? Jai, Jai, you know, revealing, you know what I'm saying? Like, super over sexy type shit. And I'm not taking anything from anybody, right? I'm just telling you what the Bible said, but I'm breaking it down in another aspect of how I viewed it. So, I mean, if the shoe fit, then go ahead and wear it like Cinderella. But if it don't, don't worry about it. So, boom. I'm sitting here like, oh. So then I had to read on a little bit deeper, right? Because it said, beware the fiery women because they will turn you into an idol worshiper. So I had to go ahead and break that down too, too, for me to understand. I said, oh, no doubt. Because if you think about it, right? If you really wanted to sit back and be on some cool and mellow-ish, you'll go the correct route, nine to five, or even start your own business. But see, when you get hooked up and chasing them fiery women, then you got to speed the process up and they have you out here in these streets doing the dealings. See, a bad man ain't come and hustle because a Scarface don't get it fucked up. Because if you all line it up from Scarface to Adam and Eve, it was a woman ahead of us that always set us up. Now, I ain't trying to start no male and female against each other and bashing and stuff. I'm just saying be cautious with your heart and think about who you line yourself up with. And remember your position. Men don't follow women. We lead shit. So that's where the game got messed up. So women can set the standards however they want for us. So what did they do? That's when they came up with the concept. And they call it the Winnie Lynch. And the rest been history. And we still suffer from this shit. How you know, Wink? I mean, break it down. Google it. They probably try to erase this shit. But... If you ever got an opportunity to get hip and read about the really lich, then you'll know some shit. See, I was green as shit. Wild as shit. Once again, I'm about to take y'all on a small little trip called a pen run. That's where I used to live. See, I was up in prison bidding and shit. You know me, always on joke time. I don't be seeing the danger and shit. Old man back there joking, me being smart out the mouth, I said some slick shit. His name was Willie, so I said, man, go ahead with that Willie Lynch shit. He got a finish there, said, hey, little homie, let me holler at you, little, real quick. He said, respectfully, please don't ever call me Willie Lynch again. I laughed at him and said, the fuck you mean? He said, do you know who Willie Lynch is? Hand me a booklet. I went and read it and apologized immediately because now I understand. See, prison told me something else, right? That a lot of youngers ain't get the opportunity to. When a grown man admit his faults, that's the real shit that real men do. Yeah, once again, I'm taking you on the battlefield with me, so stay with me. It get wild in here. But I got experience. You know they know me. I give them the nod. You good in here. See, any given time, when you in prison, you amongst the wolves and pigeons, get wits and all. Look at it like this. You got lions and you got hyenas. Which side do you belong? No cap. I'm telling you some real shit that I lived through. I experienced this shit firsthand. I seen this shit not in no fucking rear view. You'll find out where your ass at real quick. And you'll see where a lot of other people at too. So don't get confused by the smoky mirrors because them things could confuse you too. But fuck all the bullshit I still seen through. At the end of a lot of niggas stories, a female played some part all the way through. <laughs> I mean, I ran into many drug dealers 
that was out here chasing that money trying to impress the chick. But then I also sat right there and watched the mailman walk straight past they shit. On visiting day, I ain't see them getting fresh and shit. But that's when I knew. <laughs> make sure every move you make is really for you. So even if you have to go at a slow pace, man, that's cool. Look at myself as a Ninja Turtle, Michelangelo, because he was cool. Now, actually, I look at myself as a turtle because I'm over my own waist. So if I'm going slow for you, then shorty, go ahead and get off the car so you can change your pace. But one thing I learned early in life, you know what I'm saying? Playing track and field. But I took it way back. Way back from there. When we used to play hide and go get it. Back in the hood. See, I learned something real quick, right? If you was the ugly nigga, the pretty girls ran away from you quick. And I also, Pete, that if you was the ugly girl, or you stinked a little bit, you was the one that had to run around talking about, I bet you can't catch me, and I bet you right as shit. So I learned at a young age, anything that you got to chase ain't meant to be caught. So I paid attention to that and always moved accordingly. Yeah, surprisingly, right? I got the knowledge to do it all. I knew how to run a motherfucking crack strip in the seventh grade. That's how I know about the back of that composition book very well. Yeah, you know, when most people was going outside and they was playing house and all oh, that little slick shit. I mean, back in elementary, we already was burnt out on that. We was moving up to some other shit. So, yeah, it posted up where we just supposed to be kicking it and shit, man. We getting the laws of the game and watching how to run a motherfucking dope strip. Where to put the stash at. How you supposed to properly be a lookout without looking hot like you a lookout. Always watch your man back. I mean, we was toward loyalty. I don't know what the fuck these youngest be on now. But that ain't what I'm about. See, I come out that no limit or make them say, mm, because niggas roll together. Everybody wanted to be bowdy bowdy, but niggas want rowdy rowdy back in the murders. So when niggas transitions on some new shit, I don't be impressed. At all, because I know the truth of this. Back when niggas was really outside, <laughs> a lot of niggas wasn't really outside with us. But it's cool though, man. You live and you grow. You learn from your lessons. But the bottom line and the moral of the story, don't be another Adam out here, man, losing your spot, chasing behind an Eve. Because she going to pass the apple to the next man as soon as you leave. Yeah, anybody can hit. Whoever got the highest bid, it's like casino to that bitch. And I don't want to hear no snitch shit like, how you gonna call a female bitch? Because I'm calling the bitch how I see that shit. Any woman that don't respect herself can't get respect from me, so you see how it fit. Any bitch out here put her motherfucking self before her kids, and what I mean by this... You don't give a fuck about your names if you sacrificing and doing whatever out here. Just a hit a lick. So once again, Bamas will lose themselves in the process of trying to find themselves. Just because she gave them some of that apple, yeah. And how ironic. To this day. If you was to go to a fruit bar, apples is the thing that's always left. What's the symbol line? What's the symbolization behind giving the teacher an apple on the first day of school? That's a symbol of saying I'm handing my life over to you. 
Because never ever, not one day after the first day of school, did you ever feel like you was going to school and being in a stranger in the room with a stranger. Now, did you? Peace is symbol. That's what it's to symbolize. It's saying I'm giving you everything. I'm trusting you with my life. Respect it. Highly. See it. Like I see your eyes. Clearly. Because you know that's the gateway to the soul. So please don't tell me no lies. But I despise. How did we get here? Because you know once. We started sinning. It became very clear that everybody was doing it. So no one was in fear. Of not doing it. What do you mean? See, I seen the transition before it happening. I said, eventually, we're going to get back to walking around naked like Adam and Eve. And every year, they ain't never let me down. They always proceed to take off a little bit more and get away. A little bit more and get away. A little bit more. Now, they can just walk around with their titties out, you know what I'm saying? A piece of paper over it, and they good. Well, nobody say a thing. Or if they put a net shirt over and they got nipple rings, same thing. But when I seen Carly B new video drop, I said, yep. And summertime just around the corner. Watch what you see. The sign's been there, man. The urge to lead up to it. That's why I say you got to dig deep into your subconscious because that's where... They really directing you from with everything they be doing. If you don't believe in spirits and hypnotization, just take a second when they tell you to constantly give affirmation. So when you hear that song that say niggas ain't shit or bitches ain't shit but hoes to me. Subconsciously, that's all the fuck you gonna walk down the street and see. And then, how ironically, I'm like, me just having a ah, that just can't fucking be. Even though I know it's freaks and everybody, still, that's subconsciously, I was trained to see. Everything projection. We went from a time in era where skirts were rolled down to their ankles. Now, I'm in church and young girls walking around like they in the club now. And it's A-OK. -okay. As long as they put a little vest around, won't nobody make a sound. But back in my time, grandma would have set that ass down. Oh, no. Grandma would come get you and your mother and pull y'all to the side. You'd have been going back home, you know what I'm saying, telling somebody all type of lies. I don't know if that mother boy was really going to throw hands with someone, but long story short, ain't nobody ever find out with none of them. So when I speak of my grandma, I speak very highly. When I don't have respect for a woman that disrespect her body, that's because my grandmother will cool lock all the way down. You hear me? Big skirts all the way to the ground. She ain't believe in women walking around with jeans, you know what I'm saying? So she taught me things even though she was raising men. Wasn't no females around. Some more of the story, man. Don't play yourself out of possession, man. Because, uh, like I was taught at a young age. You know what I'm saying? Never beef over a bra. Why? And it goes for the female, too. I'm giving y'all free game. Never beef over a chick. Or never beef over a dick, right? Because it's more of that from where it came. If your girl ever fuck another nigga or your nigga fuck another bitch, don't beef with the other person. Because that's just part of the game. Your bitch or your nigga, that's your responsibility. Not the other person. They don't owe you a damn thing. Because trust anybody in that position, they'll do the exact same fucking thing. Who the fuck out here like, nah, I ain't going to hit you because you got a man. 
What bitch said, I ain't gonna suck your dick because you got a girl. Man, she done slobbed on that thing. Tell me, don't tell nobody because I deny everything. I'm just giving you free game. I can't be surprised by any attacks. Because sometimes you be a victim. Sometimes you be a predator. You be the prey. That's just how it goes out here in the cycle. Whether you human or animal. Everybody got to eat. Each and every day. That's the survival. That's the chain that we go through. Pay attention so you don't get caught up in that chain too often. Because you're going to have to repeat that until you learn from it. That's why a lot of people go to their coffins. I don't know. You know me. I just be talking. More of the story, man. Treat that apple more precious. Say yourself a lot of pressure. Live in a lot of peace. So you can stop saying them same sad ass words. Lord, why me?